Good morning and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Friday, April the 24th. Uh, this is going to cover our new lesson working with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, finding angles and fractional parts of a circle. So uh, to start with, the unlock the problem or what they call investigate for this is one that we're probably not going to be able to do from home. And I originally recorded this video and spent the time to draw all of this kind of like one thing at a time and uh, my video was messed up and you couldn't see my screen so i'm having to re-record it so i'm not going to take the time to redraw everything but i will talk about it so um to start with this would have been my first piece and um, then they ask us to do this part and so what you see in the picture there kind of represents where we get uh, to answering the question so um, if we are relating this to a clock, we are making 12 individual sections. Uh, the fraction piece would be 1 12th. The vertex is going to be the point. So if I make this particular shape, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit, and I make the shape that's here, the point of that would be right here. Um, because of uh, what we're talking about, the vertex for each of these is going to meet at the same point, um, which I tried to do in the original video, um, but it's just a little bit off. So a couple of these are not perfect, and that might happen if we were using this shape as well. Um, so we would label each of these fraction parts, um, parts over 12, so 1 12th, 2 12 3, 4, 5, and so forth. And we could make it all the way around to 12 12 um, so the fraction piece for our second one would be 2 twelfths. We would have 12 entire pieces, and how many of the angles came together at the center of the circle would be all 12 of them. So the rest of what we're working on for this lesson is going to relate, um, I am going to talk about this real quick, um, to working with a clock. So what we want to look at here and if you guys don't have this page, I apologize. Go ahead and look up here on the screen. Uh, so compare the size of the angle formed by a one quarter size piece and the size of an angle formed by a one twelfth size piece. Um, so what we can do is actually go back and look at this particular model. So what would we say about the size for an angle that would take up one fourth, which would be three of these individual pieces compared to just one. So think about that for just a second. So there are a couple different things that we could say. Obviously the one fourth size is going to be larger. Not only is the amount of space that that shape is taking up would be larger, but the angle itself would also be larger. It would be a right angle if we do it correctly. So a 90 degree angle. Um, and then the 1 12th size piece would be about a third of the size of that angle because we have one, two, three parts to make up the same angle that we would get for the 1 quarter size piece. Um, so we could say it's smaller. We could try to relate it how much larger or how much smaller one of them is to the other. So let's go ahead and look at um, this part here, and then we'll go into our share and show and on your own questions. So um, we are talking about how we would ro uh, rotate around the clock being clockwise. So we would circle around in the direction that my mouse is going, or you can kind of see that from the arrow. If we are going the opposite direction, we are going against or counter clockwise. And so to start with, we're going to say what uh, the amount of the turn is. So we are making a one quarter turn clockwise. The second one, we're making a half turn clockwise. The third one, we're making a three quarter turn clockwise. And the last one, we are making a whole um, turn clockwise. So representing that as a fraction, we could do four parts over four to relate it back to these. We could even say it's 12 over 12 because there are 12 individual points that we think of when we are telling time. So moving on to the share and show problems. Um, if you want to pause the video and take a look at these, 
Um, I'm just going to kind of relate the ones I asked you guys to do. Um, so we are just figuring out what the uh, amount of the shape is. So the blue part covers half of the shape for number one. It covers three quarters of the shape for number three, covers half of the shape for number five. And there's an additional question down at the bottom that asks about these, which is why this one has a little bit of a check mark here. Uh, so for number seven, we are going against the direction of the clock and we're moving one quarter turn. So I put counterclockwise and abbreviated it uh, that way. Uh, we are going clockwise for this one and we would be doing three quarters of a turn. So 11, compare the angles in exercise one and five. Does the position of the angle affect the size of the angle? So we have one that goes this way. We have one that goes this way. They are both the same size. I'm not even sure in this case that we could argue um, that they might look a little bit different. Um, you could kind of turn your head sideways to see that we have a same straight line here that we would have here. Um, there might be other angles that if we rotate them, it might be difficult to see, but I think for that one, that would be a relatively easy one. And then um, our homework, part will be um, in a separate video, so I will go ahead and pause for now and uh, go ahead and get that part recorded. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. I know I kind of um, am abbreviating the video uh, because of time, uh, because of the way things that worked out with uh, the recording initially. So I um, hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video or on Monday.